Floating and Sinking Investigation by me, Mrs. Markuski. Hello class, are you ready for science? Today we're going to do an experiment, and in this experiment we're going to investigate what sinks and what floats in water. But first, let's figure out the difference between floating and sinking. Why do things sink or float? Objects sink in water because they are heavier than water. Objects float in water because they are lighter than water. All objects containing air float. Let's get started. You should all have a worksheet that looks like this. And this worksheet is where you're going to track your hypothesis and your observation. In this column, you have what every object is that we're going to use in our experiment. The next column is where you're going to write your hypothesis, whether you think the object is going to sink or float. Remember, a hypothesis is a prediction. And lastly, we're going to test the object, and you're going to write down the observation of whether the object sank or float to see if your hypothesis was right. Let's get started. Our first object is a rubber ball. When I drop the rubber ball into the water, do you think it'll sink? or float. Choose your hypothesis and write it on your chart. Let's drop the ball into the water. Does your hypothesis match your observation? Remember, things that have air tend to float. Let's move on to the next object. Our next object is an eraser. What do you think? When I drop the eraser in the water, do you think it'll sink in the water or float in the water? Make your hypothesis and write it on your chart. Ready? Does your hypothesis match your observation? Remember, things that don't have air in them tend to sink. Our next object is a delicious red apple. When I drop the apple into the water, do you think it's going to sink or float? Write your hypothesis on the chart. Ready? What do you observe? Go ahead and write this observation on your observation chart. Our next object is a metal ruler. When I drop this metal ruler in the water, do you think it's going to sink or float? Write your hypothesis on your chart. Let's drop the metal ruler into the water. What do you think is going to happen? Does your hypothesis match your observation? Go ahead and write your observation on your chart. Our last object before the big challenge is this tiny paper clip. Do you think this paper clip is going to sink or float? Write your hypothesis on the chart. Here we go. Watch close. Was your hypothesis right? Now that we've gained all this experience with floating and sinking, are you ready for the challenge? For this investigation, turn your worksheet over. We're going to be using two pieces of bread. The one on the right, we're going to leave whole and flat in the water. The one on the left, we're going to roll into a ball. What do you think is going to happen? Is one going to sink? One going to float? We'll find out. We are going to drop two slices of bread into the water. One we're going to leave as is. The other is formed into a ball. Write your hypothesis on both pieces of bread on the back side. Of As I've said before, I'm going to leave this one the way it is and roll this one into a ball. Ready? Was 
Is your hypothesis right? Even though both objects were the same thing, the unfolded piece of bread contained many air pockets, allowing it to float. The bread we formed into a ball lost its air pockets, making it sink. I hope you enjoyed this floating and sinking experiment. I had fun, and I hope you did too. I'll see you next time.